Take care. Here we go. Here in Kaneohe Bay, we're pretty much at ground zero for the fight against these alien algal species. The single worst algal species has, is only found in Kaneohe Bay, so that's why our main priority right now is to stop this species from getting anywhere else. Alien algae is the worst invasive species problem we're dealing with in the state of Hawaii. It uh, likes to overgrow corals and uh, impact the coral communities. They smother it, they abrade it, they kill it. Uh, they also fill in all of the, the habitat and complexity of the reef that the coral creates, which is what so many other reef organisms depend on. Around the globe, once pristine coral reefs are being threatened by invasive algaes that are growing out of control. In Hawaii, several once healthy reefs are dying because of these quick growing plants. Here in Kanawihi Bay on the island of Oahu, the Nature Conservancy has teamed up with the state of Hawaii and the University of Hawaii to create a novel means of algae removal. They call their creation the Super Sucker. The, the Super Sucker is, is, a, is a large barge uh, on which is situated a, a big Venturi style suction pump which pulls water and algae off of the reef, deposits it up on a sorting table that's on the barge that drains all the water off where sorters will pick through uh, any native species that were inadvertently collected will be removed uh, from the algae placed in, in buckets and returned to the reef at the end of the day uh, and all of the invasive algae that's been pulled off gets shoved into bags and by the end of the day we can have removed somewhere in the neighborhood of two to three thousand pounds of alien algae. Because the coral reef is so fragile we just couldn't go out there with any kind of mechanical machine or anything like that and just rake algae off the reef. We knew we were pretty much going to be limited to hand collection. So when you have divers out there picking up algae by hand, we're not out there sucking algae off the bottom of the reef. We're feeding algae into the hose and it's being transported to the barge. We can do upwards of 800 pounds of algae per hour. Typical day for us, we like to keep our divers in the water four to five hours, so we're looking at, you know, 3,000, 3,500 pounds per day. Once we have our bags full of algae at the end of the day, we'll uh, deliver them to some local farmers who use this algae for compost and soil enhancement. There's been over uh, 20 species of algae not native to Hawaii that have been introduced over the last uh, 50 years. And it's a mixture of uh, algae that were brought in unintentionally, like say fouling the, the hull of a ship, and, thing, uh, and algal species that were brought in intentionally actually as part of aquaculture research. The Super Sucker program is still in its infancy but the technology shows promise. The first attempt we made with the super sucker was actually to clear a section of the reef surrounding this island right here. This island happens to be a marine reserve in which uh, herbivorous fish and all other fish are protected from fishing pressure and as a result there's a pretty big number of herbivorous fish. We used the super sucker on this reef over the course of several months to remove over 20,000 pounds of alien algae from the reef. After we removed it, quite frankly, I expected it to grow back and I thought we'd be documenting how long it takes for algae to grow back following removal. Instead what happened is we didn't get all of the algae with the super sucker. Instead of growing back, the algae that was left slowly disappeared. And what we think happened essentially is that we used the super sucker to reduce algal abundance below a sort of a threshold level, if you will, that the protected fish populations around the island were, were able to sort of pick up where we left off finished the job and, and have been successfully keeping the reef algae free for, it's coming up on three years now. The groups here say that funding is needed to keep the Super Sucker program going. Using a smaller craft with greater range called the Super Sucker Junior, they hope to extend the program to other regions where alien algae is a problem. I certainly don't want to say it's a stopgap, but the issue right now is that these algae are getting more and more abundant, devastating the reefs in which they already occur, and spreading to new reefs. And so what the super sucker does is it buys us time to develop these sort of longer term management strategies for our oceans, which aren't just about stopping alien algae, they're about restoring health to Hawaii's reefs.